What's happening team? Professor Mike, Coach T back once more. This week looking at pressure passing. Okay, yesterday looked at my favorite pass, the stack pass. Today, slightly different, gives us an option to get to the stack pass. You might not need it, that's what it looks like. Okay, so we're gonna do this from, let's say me opening my opponent's close guard standing. You can do this any way you like, all right? The principle is this. I would like to pin my opponent's hip to the ground, okay? If I can do that, there's two things. One, it stops them creating space by hip escaping. Two, as I move one hip to the floor, it raises the opposite hip. What does that give us? It gives us access to the stack pass, all right? So, read my opponent's closed guard. We'll stand any way you like to stand, okay? Remember what you do to have good posture. From here, Okay, I'm going to take a step back and force my opponent's leg to the ground. Now watch what I do. As I force it down my hand, I replace it with my knee straight away. We've got to staple his hip to the ground. That's important, okay? By keeping this grip, I can deny his ability to frame, all right? He's going to want to bring this knee through. As long as my elbow's in front, it's not going to happen. This is now a physical wall. Okay, and I need, now I need to shoot for the head. But the key principle here is pin this leg to the floor. Okay, look how this leg is now in play. Coach T's feeling the pressure there, sorry Coach T. This allows me, if he overcommits with this leg, to come underneath to my stack pass position. And we did that yesterday, right? So this is really important. I'll show you from this angle, so you can see how the foot does the job. So as I force to the ground and cover, look at my toes. I'm on my toes and they are pinning with my shin his inner thigh to the ground. It's going to create a little bit of pain, a little bit of pressure. But ultimately what I want to do is pin my opponent's hip to the floor, thus raising his hip and eliminating the chance that he can hip escape and create problems for me. Okay, what we want to do at that point once we've got the staple in place, okay, so look for the head. If I know that my opponent can't bring the knee in because my elbow position is good, they can't frame because I still have a grip, what I don't want them to do is turn towards me, okay? They turn towards me, they can create problems, okay? I'm happy if he turns away, that gives me the pass. If he turns towards me, that can be problematic. So what I do is I shoot straight for the head and look how deep I take that grip. I'm aiming to grab his lat on the far side, under his armpit, okay? This is not a shallow cross face. This is as deep as I can possibly go. Now, from here, as I flatten him out by placing my weight forward, there's zero gap between my shoulder and his face. This now eliminates the chance he can turn towards me. To finish the pass, back step through, still connected to the hip, and now I'll thread the needle into my side control position. Okay, take your nook on the far side, then we know what to do from there. Okay, mega basic pass. This is taught super early on in the jiu-jitsu journey. But if you do it well, it can work at the highest levels. Okay, so I've opened my opponent's guard. This time we'll do it from combat base. I will force my opponent's hip to the ground. Control it, elbow position is good. Okay, I'm gonna dive for the head, deep. Connect, back step through. Just turn here, please, Coach T. Okay, I like to, at this point, connect to the tricep as well. Okay, and now when I come back through, I've got a super deep position with the cross face and the underhook. So I'll do it from one more angle, all the way around here. So open my front guard, pressure, replace, fire, step. Look at my foot, still controlling this bottom leg. We know that that's the leg you also to guard with. This isn't the problem the bottom leg is, so I keep control. I've got my position, super tight on the cross face, bit of the needle, there's my finish. So, Pretty basic pass there, right? Pressure is what we're talking about this week. 
You must apply pressure on that hip the whole time. Your cross face must be deep. Maintain those pressures when you back step. You'll pass the guard every time. See you tomorrow. Us.